The day of the African child is marked in honor of children who were murdered in cold blood in the apartheid era in South Africa in 1976. <laughs> Scores of black students were shot dead as they were protesting the poor quality of education. I have a dream that someday this nation will be known, not for its corruption and poverty, but for its great scientific accomplishments. To the people in government, it is the duty to you to ensure that the education that is given to the African children prepares them to be great, to ensure that the young generation is brought up to be upright. Stop defilement! Give me a pen but not a baby! At Imbuya Parents School in Kampala, the pupils showcase their talents. Justice and Constitutional Affairs Minister Major General Kahindo Tafire, who was a chief guest, said the greed and selfishness of African leaders has ruined the African nations and its people. Selfishness of the leadership. Leaders who look up at themselves rather than those who they lead. Otafire, a Pan African, says this greed has resulted in African hating their countries. And many of them end up taking long, dangerous journeys across the Mediterranean Sea in search of jobs abroad. Drown in the Mediterranean, going to resource exhausted Europe. What do they have in Europe that we don't have? Brains, hands. Otafiri has advised children to pick up the good attributes from their leaders and discard their weaknesses for the good of Uganda. Nurture those positive attributes, they will make this country greater than what we dreamed when we were your age. When you raise a bad generation, you will have bad future leaders. So children, just know, today we are celebrating your day. Freedom! Freedom! Jingo Francis, NTV. I didn't have a moment.